So I'm preparing some tins to alter. And um, I already talked about the uh, little corner attachments that I have on these. Um, and you'll notice that these two are the new style of Altoids tins with the embossed covers. So I'm choosing to use those as hanging tins, knowing that I'm going to put a big fat image over this and uh, cover over that embossing. Uh, the ones that I've chosen to do as pocket tins are flat, and I'm going to put images on, on these uh, that are flat. Um, these are getting harder to find. Uh, I um, got a bunch of these from uh, someone local who just had them laying around. Um, you can get them on eBay sometimes. Uh, but mostly, uh, these are, are becoming pretty scarce. So I have um, Whole Foods 365 brand peppermints, which are pretty much exactly the same size um, and a tiny bit shallower um, have the flat top. Um, so, and uh, if you... Uh, can't find these at the flat top and are stuck trying to do uh, to work with these. I have a lesson posted at Go Make Something uh, about how to cover over the top of this with a piece of chipboard and some metal tape to turn these into uh, flat metal tins. Um, it won't cover up the inside, but um, if you're clever like me and you can put an image on the inside, nobody will ever know the difference. So, um, since I'm going to put an image over the top of these, um, I really don't have to worry about what's on the top. Um, uh, but I do have to worry about what's on the sides. So this one is polka dotted around the sides. I, I don't know if I'm going to love that, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. This one, gold with a little blue, I can probably work with that. This one had paper clips um, uh, engraved into it, uh, uh, drawn into the paint. So I went ahead and scuffed this up with just a, a sanding block, um, a pretty heavy sanding block. And the paint pretty much comes right off. You might have to work at it around the corners a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to take all of the paint off of this, just enough so that I can paint a light coat of either spray paint or acrylic paint over the top of it. And while I was at it, I also scraped off the paint around the sides because while I can live with this bright blue, this kind of grass green color really doesn't float my boat. So, to get this off, it's really easy with a sanding block. All you have to do is just drag it over the sides, and the paint pretty much comes right back, right off. Um, and if you really work at it, you can get it all off. Um, I've gotten these all the way down to uh, bare metal. Um, but for this one, I think I'm just going to scuff it up and uh, think about painting it. Maybe blasting it with some spray paint um, to get a real quick uh, color on it. But you can get it down to bare metal. Um, if you do that, make sure that you seal it with something like a, a spray sealer because uh, once you take the finish off of this, these are prone to rust and uh, they rust pretty quickly if they're not sealed. Um, the paint and the sealer that they have on them uh, from the factory protects them for a long time. Uh, but if you scrape that off, then you need to put something on it to protect it so that it doesn't turn into a rusty mess. Unless you want a rusty mess, uh, in which case, don't. <laughs> 